Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the Hotter Than Hell Tournament Final for the shot at the Discovery Wrestling Y Division Championship. Introducing first. Semi-finals earlier on, Andy Weil with a very, very hard-fought victory over Liam Thompson. And Chris Renfrew to Peter Marty Kirby. Yeah. And now we're here. Winner of this will be get a chance at the Y Division Championship whenever they want. Oh, what an opportunity that. That would be both men starting off strong here. And you talk about two guys that are going to beat the hell out of each other. Yeesh. That elbow, the connection that made to Chris Renfrew's face. I could be it right there. Again, you were saying earlier on, but both men have already wrestled tonight, so you can imagine that they both be wanting to try to finish this one as quick as possible. Oh yeah! Possible. Oh, did you see the ring move? Wow! As you say, totally has taken his toll on them the earlier matches. Oh yeah! Much like that shot to the corner took his toll on the frame of Renfrew, and he staggered him down. Hit that big uppercut. I mean, Renfrew's a huge guy, but look how he's just being manhandled. This really shows the strength and power of Andy Wilde. Oh, yeah, Andy Wilde uh, took some time off, uh, as you mentioned earlier on in the pre-show. However, he returned, and he returned with some size on him and some strength as oh, well. Oh, yeah. Andy Wilde 
trying to get out of it, he can, but yeah. Wilde grabs him, almost making him choke himself. Again, we as big as Andy Wilde, stuff like that. It's a pretty easy thing. Went for taking the leg now, attacking it. Smart move. He's a big man, but he's the same size as everyone else when he's laying on his back. Yeah, that's good, yeah. Is Renfrew attacking the knee? Could that be the strategy of Chris Renfrew? Oh, oh this is very smart, General Murray. Edinburgh crowd don't appreciate that. Yeah. I, however, think you should do whatever you can. The, the stakes are that high here tonight. The fourth anniversary show. Oh, my God. Head first into the post, then into that guardrail. And some fans supporting Chris Renfrew. Andy Wilde tried to get up, I don't know if you saw it there, just sort of fell to the floor. He's hurting. But this is tremendously smart, if you ask me, on the part of Chris Renfrew. Oh yeah, attack, attack that knee, attack that leg. Keep him down. Keep him Big down. man down. And I've got to admit, if I was against Andy Wilde, I'd be doing the exact same thing right now. If you were against Andy Wilde, the match would be over in about three seconds. That's three seconds ago. Now still going on the oh hang on oh Chris Renfrew hitting that corner hard. It shows the force, the force of Andy Wilde there. Chest Even forced. laying down. Go for a pin. Maybe a and, little late there, yeah, hooking the legs. Andy think. Wilde realised that he should maybe hook the legs, but it was just a little bit too late by the time he hooked them. But you know it's easy for us to say. Uh, we're, we're sat here, but not in that ring. We haven't taken the blows they've taken. No. Not in the slightest. And as we mentioned earlier on, both men have already wrestled tonight on the pre-show. And this is for all the models. The Hotter Than Hell Tournament 2018. Again, Andy Well favouring that leg. And who can blame him? He's just trying to stretch off. Stretch, yeah, off, stretch off a little bit. The Renfrew knows there's a target on that leg now. Oh, Any yeah. chance he can, he needs to capitalise on it. Just like earlier on with uh, Tim, uh, Tim Thatcher and Matt Ankle, when I mean, Joe Hendry noticed the weakness, he went right for it. You know Chris Renfrew, he's, a, he's an intelligent fella, Chris Renfrew. That's not going too far. Well, he knows exactly. When, he, when he's in there, if he sees that weakness, he's, he's going to go for it. Oh, he's just grinding oh, he's, that down. Yeah, I was going to say grinding in there was Andy Wilde. And how quickly the tide has turned in this match. Now Renfrew is the one in trouble. But again, if he keeps that leg. Renfrew is a fighter. He, he's not a quitter. Andy Wilde is going to have to, he's going to have to wear him down a lot more than that. If he's going to keep Chris Renfrew down. Oh, God. See the impact of that stomach there. Oh. Blocking the wind oh, and the saliva out of Chris Renfrew. Loses lunch in a minute. And he's hurting. Fatigue taking its toll here on Chris Renfrew, maybe. Once again, hitting those buckles hard. And he got the boot up. Almost out of desperation, would you say, John? Oh, dropkick. Yeah, desperation no, move, and it paid off. And he nipped up. But Andy Wilde was right there. Wilde was right there with the with the clothesline. Well, hang on. And oh. it's a stunner. He got him. He got it. Is this it? Two. Oh, at the last minute, he was able to raise that arm. Andy Wilde kicking out just in time. Trying to hook Andy Wilde up from that T-Virus. I was going to say, if he can get that T-Virus, but that strength of Andy Wilde. But again, the leg's bad for him. And Oh no, oh no. Oh, Alabama slam. One, That's could be two, it. two. Full credit to Renfrew for getting out of that. Oh yeah, that was that was a big fall. That I was thought that was it. Fall. Can you imagine what that does to your whole frame? Just completely shocks the system. And I could, you look at the face of Renfro, I don't think he knows where he is. Oh yeah, that'll knock the wind out you. Same oh. pain up your back, your spine, your head, your neck. 
both these two bulls just collided in the middle of the ring. Charging into one another, both men down. I gotta say they're not jumping to their feet. We don't want it, what happens then? Both these guys get counted out. We haven't got a winner, we haven't got a winner in the tournament. I can't see that happening. I hope not, but Andy Wells not even moving. Chris Renfrew is starting. Crowd split, 50-50. Both men to their feet. Just shot again, just knocking the juices out of Renfrew. Still on his feet. Trading forearms here. Oh, Renfrew. Oh! Oh, dear. Oh, my God almighty! Oh! Oh, this is inhuman! Jeez! Renfrew smacking that massive chest of Andy Wilds. Oh! Chops in the corner, John O'Malley makes you sick just thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh look at the impact. Retaliation. We know how deadly those chops are of Renfrew. Oh, oh wow. but like Andy Wilde said, I don't think so, pal. And the way we've seen Henry. Oh, we got a chest of Chris Renfrew. Please, sir, may I have another? Oh, but he lulled him into that. And again back and to the knee, caught him again with the stunner. And, and here's the T-Virus. Can he hook it in? It's a big guy to do that to. Oh, oh there he goes. Barely, barely suplex. That could be it. Two. <sighs> Desperation cover, but if he was able to hook that leg, perhaps it would be a different story. Perhaps. Both men knocking the stuffing out of each other on that last trade-off. With Andy Wilde getting the better of Renfrew in that one. So you don't often see from Andy Wilde going up. They cost him here. Perhaps he would have been better just hammering him on the floor. Oh, no, he's a, we've seen this before, Dan and Goss. We have, but uh, have we seen this before? What is he doing? They throw him into the fifth row. Oh, but he didn't work. Andy Wilde saw it coming and was able to stop it. Oh! Wild night out for Chris Renfrew. Can he get him up? Wild just driver. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, here is...